moment of women's division. I was just commenting on this a little bit earlier. Your thought on that big honor for Jazz earlier on tonight. You know, it, Jazz shaped my career. When I was watching her, when I was wee, a, a, a child, she was so amazing. And the only regret I have is that I've never got to call one of her matches. So I still really want her to come back to the ring just so I can have that honor. But it was an honor being ringside for her to get that award. Absolutely. And uh, you, you, you think of all the the ladies in the women's division who've been, who've learned from watching Jazz in the ring or learned directly from Jazz. And that's the thing, actually, Maddie, who is in the ring right now, not doing too well uh, as Jazz in the lower, oh, there she goes with the head scissors, but she actually has been trained by Jazz. So we have one of Jazz's top trainees in the ring as we speak. Well, that's great, and uh, the Jazz trainees are wrestling all over the country right now. And not only those trainees, but the ones that, that look up to Jazz and wanted to go on to become a women's champion, just like Jazz was for over a year here at SWE Fury. Yes, she was, and that's the thing. Honestly, we have somebody trained by Jazz, and in Jasmine Allure, we have a champion. She was just crowned new AAPW women's champion. So we've got some gold in the ring. We've got some history in the ring. That's so That's great right. at SWE. And uh, just like any other uh, lady in the women's division here of SWE Fury, she says her goal oh. is to become the next SWE women's champion to prove herself to everyone that she deserves to be here and that size does not define her. And that right there is Maddie giving her what she likes to call reality check. She likes to be literally the fourth Kardashian and she likes to give people <laughs> a little bit more of reality than what they expect in the ring. Well, nice arm drag there from Jasmine. Toss. What do we have here? Whoa, oh. She's up. oh, going for a pen. Yeah, there we go. One. Two. Two, two, in, two in. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a weak two. Count. Oh! Oh my goodness, there we go. She goes right. You have to say that's very inventive, and that's why they call her top tier. I mean, she's trying every way possible to advance over the height of Maddie. And Maddie kind of showboating for the crowd there a little bit while Jasmine suffers behind her. Seems like might have wasted a little bit of time there gloating, but here she goes right back to work, going to the hair. Oh, and that is not, I mean, she's got to worry because, I mean, she can, you can tell she has long hair herself. That might be coming back to bite her. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, let's, goodness, let's not forget that uh, in the ring right now, Dolly Stewart. A great referee. Yes, Yali. I have had the honor of seeing her in the ring, actually at Mission Pro Wrestling as well. And she is a fantastic ref, calling it down the middle, making sure everybody's playing by the rules as much as possible. She's a fantastic referee. Yep, she's doing a great job here in SWE Fury. And, and like I said, great to see such a strong women's division. I don't think it's uh, other places like Mission Pro. I can't see it being matched anywhere, but a place like Mission Pro where, you know, we've partnered for a while with these uh, with these guys, and, and their promotion is entirely female. I love it. Yes, indeed, and I am on commentary with, with all of uh, female videographers, photographers, everything. Possible. The whole staff. The whole staff is, is female. Like, from the bottom up, you've got nothing but female talent, you. and it's an amazing run company. I don't hear you. These two actually uh, have a little bit of a beef from that, so I mean, seeing them wrestle right now, they, they, were, a little, they were a little edgy. So there's a little before. history there's, there. There's a little history. There's a little, little, little history. Uh, Jasmine Allure is definitely, um, let's just say, taking a belt to Maddie's face. Oh my gosh, a belt to her face, yes. I can't imagine. And here we go into the corner there, nobody home. Welcome to the fireman's carry down. Whoa, good grief, look at that. Wow, and there indeed, and she just gives a little bit of a move like that and goes right in for a pen. That's a count of only two. Going back for another smart move. Might as well strike while the iron's hot. As Maddie goes again. And third time's a charm, maybe. Still only getting those two counts as Jasmine Allure is continuing to try to fight. Good grief, just yanking her head around. I mean, I don't think the head's supposed to go that way. You might be wrenching it off at that point. Yeah, it might be a 
Mom may need to go see a chiropractor tomorrow if she's going to have any more of these kind of matches. After watching that, I need to go see a chiropractor. Hands down twice now. Let's see if she can stay in this thing. Jasmine barely, barely. SWE Fury, San Antonio, Texas. Limitless Sports Arena is where it's all happening. Yes, indeed. And for all of you watching this live on Title Match Network streaming right now, make sure you're using the hashtag SWE Fury so we can tell what you're thinking, what you're seeing, what you like. Oh, beautiful crossbody right into a pen. Hi, Title Match Network. Everybody watching out there, here we go. She comes from behind, rolls her up, and only two. Jasmine. Right, there she goes. Again. Ducking that clothesline, going behind. Maddie with the reversal. Oh, 